What's up, everyone? Happy Friday. Coming to you a little late today because I, uh, I keep deciding I'm going to ride in the afternoon because the weather's getting nicer in the afternoon. And when I wake up in the morning, my shoulder is on fire. I got something going on with my shoulder, my back. I'm not sure what it is. It's about two weeks now. Won't go away. I don't know. Hopefully, I'm not dying. But uh, there's Layla. Layla's going to freaking fix my shoulder for me. I'm going to massage. A new place up on Hempstead Avenue, Malvern. Just open it up. Shout out to Layla. She can help. Yeah, my arm is freaking on fire. So we need to come see her. But uh, we got message of the day. So late Friday message of the day. Um, message of the day is about don't put things off. So today I put off my bike ride. I took my ride to uh, took my bike to work with me today in Farmington. I went to the office, the air conditioning office over here. The air conditioning office in Farmerdale, which is right by Bethpage State Park. And I was going to ride Bethpage State Park this afternoon, but um, about three o'clock when I planned on riding, about two o'clock, I got a call from a lady that would like to talk about listing her house in Baldwin. And of course, service comes first. So she said she was available at 3.30. Uh, so I scrambled to get all the information together for her. And we went over there, and we just chatted with her, and I finished up there, came home, grabbed Joey, and now we're at baseball practice. So I just rode a little bit here, and we're leaving this practice, go to another practice in New Hyde Park. Uh, that's an indoor, like, batting cage type place. And I'm going to ride some more there. We'll get the ride in tonight. Uh, we do the 10 miles every day, religiously. But uh, So the message is don't put stuff off, because when you put stuff off, things pop up, and it messes up your schedule. Uh, I should have just got up and rode this morning, um, but I figured, you know, look at this beautiful day. A ride in the park would have been nice today, but uh, work comes first. Six mouths to feed here, so uh, plus customer service. So actually, I did have a nice conversation uh, with this client, hopefully future client in Baldwin. Uh, she's trying to decide if she wants to sell her house because they work in downtown Brooklyn and they drive to downtown Brooklyn and the commute is absolutely killing them. And they're looking to get closer to the city line. Um, something to always think about when you're buying a house. Location, location, location. Take that commute and drive it a little bit. If you're thinking of moving from the city out to the island, make sure it's something you want to do. They just bought this house back in August. And they're already thinking they want to sell it and move closer to the city. Because uh, the commute, the traffic has been absolutely brutal lately. I guess no one's taking mass transit. And they're all driving. So the roads are full. But anyway, so... There's some real estate tip of the day. Location, location, location. Make sure you can handle that commute before you commit to buying a house. So uh, she's trying to decide whether she wants to uh, sell the house. She just put a bunch of money into it. It's a beautiful house. And she doesn't really want to leave and head back west. But she may have to because uh, it's causing problems in their relationship and the family and stuff. And everyone's cranky from commuting. So they're trying to figure that part out. And that's part of my counseling services that come along with my real estate services. We've talked a lot about uh, options that we can do. So anyway, message of the day, don't put stuff off. Make sure that uh, if you got something to do, you take care of it. Because if you put it off, a lot of times other things come up in front of it. And you wind up not getting stuff done. So, an easy message. All right. Let's jump on prayers. The kids are playing over here. We got them. old glory flying over here. Beautiful sunshine. Cool looking sky. Looks like uh, storms coming or something. All right. Let's jump on here. In the name of Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, help us to... Tackle the chores that are in front of us, the tasks that are in front of us. Help us to not put stuff off and help us to not procrastinate because it just makes things worse. It just makes you run out of time faster. So knock out your tasks early. Do the things you got to do and uh, help us to uh, help us to get stuff done. Amen. All right. So Kevin Brady just jumped on. We're here in Kevin Brady's house over here. DPW. Kev, what happened to the big flag on there? You said that big giant flag on the uh, tower over here. Is that you guys or uh, I miss it? We got the little flag over here, which we like the little flag. But uh, yeah, here's Kevin's playground over here. Kevin's playground. 
Shout out to Mark, who just retired today. A million years of service to Malvern. No more what? No more flag? What happened to the flag? That thing, that thing should have a flag on it. That was the big ugly thing they said it was going to dress it up as a flagpole. Well, we got a couple of flags down here. You got the one over there and you got the one over here. Well, that was a cool one up there. Anyway. All right. I'm going to run. I got to get Joey to his next baseball practice. We got two baseball practices back to back. I got to finish my ride. Long story. There's a lots of long stories in this town, Kev. So <laughs> I bet you that's a good one. But I see all the panels are flying off it and it's kind of all glued back together. It looks like uh, something hit it. It's all shattered up there. But anyway. So this is Kevin's playground. Kev, it does look pretty nice down here, though. You guys keep it nice, I got to say. When are we taking the boat out, Kev? We should take that boat out. It probably hasn't seen water in about 20 years. Anything else cool back here? What else we got back here? We got a big sand pile over there. Some cool trucks. Kev's got cool toys over here. Anyway, all right, everyone. Have a great weekend. And uh, we'll see you in the morning. Tomorrow morning we ride. Paul into, oh yeah, the tower. I think it seems like he's beat up. His panel's missing it off a lot, right? So, all right. Anyway, happy Friday. Happy weekend. Go out and have some fun this weekend. Uh, enjoy it. Enjoy a little bit of weather while it's here. I think it's going to get cold earlier in the week, next week, before it gets warm again. Get out of my yard. Get off my lawn. So, all right, Kev. All right, guys. Enjoy your weekend. Take care. Put you on a pillow every night knowing you made the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Let's go.